Hi farm friends, I have got some big exciting news to share with you today. We have finally finished preparing all 38 of our garden beds. So come and take a look. We've got 14 in the top garden, 24 in the bottom garden, the last 10 here ready to plant. And we've just finished this one here at the end last week. We'll take a look. It's perfect timing really. Now we're into spring. The days are getting longer. The weather's getting warmer. So we'll be able to fill these beds up. So we started off with covering these to get rid of all of those weeds and grass. Oh, get rid of all of those weeds and grass that were in here. We've forked it tilted it, covered it with a layer of compost and then just covered them back over until we were ready to plant. Um, so we're going to update you guys on what's been happening around the farm, what we've been up to, what's growing, what's not. Let's get to work. Let's go. So we've been working on the farm for the past nine months now. It's been an extremely busy nine months, but it has gone really quickly. I've just been pr pruning these tomatoes this morning. So you can see um, I posted a video a while back that when we planted these tomatoes, they've been in the ground for about five weeks. I've been pruning out the suckers and taking off the bottom sets of leaves. And actually we've got our first tomato coming just here. So that's really exciting. There's a lot of um, flowers happening on these plants. So hopefully we will get a good lot of tomatoes in our first year growing tomatoes. The kale's been growing like crazy. We've been trying to keep up with it, trying to take out those bottom sets of leaves and then taking some as well and using it for cooking. Um, we were quite nervous to take the covers off um, because you know we were worried the pests were gonna come and eat it, but actually it's done really well so far. So that's really good for us to know that they just need that protection in the early stage, but once they get big enough, they'll be totally sweet without their covers on. So that's great. We have also been growing broccoli and harvesting a lot of the broccoli. It's probably getting a little bit warm now for the broccoli. It's not looking super green, but we've been cutting it and we've been enjoying it and it's been awesome. So we had some turnips, uh, red Russian kale and some rocket in this bed, which have all come and gone. So we've flipped this bed. Uh, we're just gonna take a look, see what it's looking like under here. So with the, um, with the kale and the rocket, because those crops, you can cut them and they'll grow back, it was really important that we covered it over to stop them from coming back. And this looks pretty much just about ready to plant. So we're gonna fill the rest of this bed with parsnips. We've got some parsnips up the top here. So we're gonna put parsnips down the rest here. So we've got our lettuce growing in here, which is really coming away now. This is our um, Salanova lettuce which just looks gorgeous. It looks so beautiful. So we're gonna start, um, start picking the outer leaves of this lettuce. Um, we did notice that we've got some aphids in here. So we are gonna be experimenting with some neem oil to see if we can help control the aphids in this bed. Over here in this bed, I have planted the basil as well. Uh, we did have, what did we have in this one? We did have some bok choy and also another variety of lettuce called coastline, which didn't work well for us. Um, we ended up just cropping that all out and flipping this bed and putting our basil in here. Uh, we had potatoes in this one over here, which have all come out. So that bed is ready to be flipped. We've done some more flipping down here. So we've got our beans here, which are, they're doing okay. And we had carrots in here, which have all been pulled out. And so we've done some more beans in here. This broccoli here, we planted sort of about mid winter and now we are mid spring. 
Um, it produced a lot of broccoli, but it's definitely got away on us now. It kind of shoots up in flowers really quickly, so I'm not totally sure what to do with this broccoli now. It's, the bees are loving it though, so we might just leave it out for the bees a bit longer. <laughs> yeah, look, there's heaps of them in here. They are loving it. We haven't talked a lot about the flowers in our garden, but we do have some flowers on the go here. We've got calendula, we've got scabiosa here, we've got some corn flowers which are just about to bloom, we've got honesty, some stock here, some poppies, larkspur and nigella. The flowers have prompted a lot of bee activity in the garden lately, which is really, really nice to see. Next to the flowers here, we've also got some arugula, which has just started to flower as well. So that's going to come out really shortly, along with our out of control radishes. These grew so quickly and by the time they looked perfect and we started picking them, they've just exploded. So this bed is going to get flipped really soon. Here we did do spinach, but the weeds are just out of control in this bed and the spinach doesn't seem to have taken off. So we need to definitely do some more research around how we're going to grow spinach because we haven't managed to do it so far. Here's another example of a crop that has grown really quickly and that is our bok choy. It was, it was not very long ago that we planted this and now it is ready to harvest. Also in this bed we've planted some other crops that we have already grown and we know are fast. So we've got the red Russian kale, we have got the rocket and we're also growing sorrel. This is a first time crop for us but it seems to be keeping up with everything else in the bed so that is really exciting to see how that grows. Over here we've got four whole beds of zinnias, so that is a cut flower and we are looking at selling these as well. So I posted a video not long ago of us planting this bed here of the peas and the beans and the cucumbers. The peas have really come away since then, um, some of them have even started to flower. We've been adding this string in as well. Um, I started off with a string, we didn't like this string, it was too thick, it was really hard to tie and then I found this hemp string at like a two dollar shop that was next door to the coffee shop where I work and it was, yeah, it was two dollars so I, I do like this string, it seems to be going well so far. Down here at our beans I've added in some stakes and I've just secured these to the top of the frame here as well to keep them in place. Um, in case of any high winds and our cucumbers have come up as well we do have a few missing some didn't make it um, but I have planted some more cucumbers into pots in the glass house to see if I can catch those up in the glass house and then bring them out to fill in the gaps here and here down the end we also have got three beds of sunflowers. We've planted a variety of sunflowers. We had the covers over them to keep them protected from, from the weather, from pests like rabbits and pukekos, but they're just about ready to be uncovered now. They're going to grow up and eventually start growing into the net, so very so shortly we will be taking these off, but we will have plenty of sunflowers to hopefully take to the markets this, this summer and sell them. The last thing I wanted to talk about with you guys today is my diary. Now I thought I had been keeping a good track of when things were getting planted and what was getting done but I really haven't and I know that's a big rookie mistake but I've started my diary, I'm keeping track of the dates of everything that I'm doing, when it's happening so that I can look back and say oh yes that bed took this long to grow between these dates which is something that um, is really important to know as we're working out our succession planting how long things are taking to grow when's the best time to plant things 
anyway that is all for this video thank you so much for watching if you're interested in what i'm doing flowers vegetables small scale farming and market gardening then please subscribe to my channel because i upload a new video every thursday if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up anyway i've got some work to do i'll see if i can get those tomatoes pruned and plant a few more beds i will see you guys in the next one bye I'm not ready yet.